Hello everyone and welcome to Sewing Saturdays. My name is Gina and uh, I want to first apologize since I didn't put a, post a video last week. Unfortunately I had a lot going on here in the store and I didn't have the time to actually record it. But uh, so this week I decided I was going to be showing you guys how to do this little bag. It's like a little makeup bag but you can use for other things. So the way it works I put some magnetic snaps there's a zipper here on the top. There's a zipper here on the top. And there's also um, the little ribbons here that we attach to, to the side. And if you see it, it's a very roomy in the inside, so you can fit a lot of stuff in it. You can also, if you'd like, you can even add pockets on the, on the inside. But in my case, I didn't even bother. I just, you know, did it this way. All right, so for this bag, let me start with a list of some materials. Uh, it's better if you work with fabric that's uh, non-direction, that doesn't have a, a direction, because since we're only gonna be using a big piece, we're not gonna be cutting into pieces. As you see, there's no seams in the bottom. Um, so a floral, anything that's not too directional probably would work best. If, uh, if you're using a directional fabric, then you're gonna probably have to cut your fabric in half and try to match, do the seam so you can turn the fabric to the other side. Um, so the one that I'm going to be showing you, uh, let's start with some measurements and some fabrics. So this is what I'm going to be using for my main color. And this one I'm going to be using for my lining here. I'm also going to need a 16 inch zipper, two magnetic snaps, um, two pieces of fabric for my flap and this is going to be um, eight by six and a half so eight so eight this way and six and a half this way uh, and then we can also going to be needing um, some ribbons about four pieces of ribbons for the sides to do the bows all right so for your main for your main fabric, what we're going to be needing, we're going to be cutting a square, and I wrote all the measurements here so I wouldn't uh, forget about it. So we're going to be doing 18 by 22. Also the lining, the same thing, it's going to be 18 by 22. We're going to be on all the corners here, as you see, there's already a piece missing. What I did, I cut a square out in every corner of seven and a half. So seven and a half and seven and a half and you're gonna cut that square out so you're gonna end up with a shape like that so seven and a half here seven and a half here seven and a half here and here you end up with that shape like that all right and then um, you're gonna do that for your outside fabric your lining I also I'm using a stabilizer on my outside fabric and here I'm using is deco bond it's a pill on 809 and on my lining, I'm using a Shape Flex, and it's a SF101, and it's also a Pellon product. So first, we're going to start with our little flap, because we need to attach that to our outside fabric. So for the little flap, what I did, as you see in here on my bag, it has a little shape here. Well, you don't have to exactly do this shape. You can do just round it can keep it square it's it's really it's up to you I decide to do mine that way and to accomplish that shape what you do is you get your main fabric all right you fold it in half all right so you don't need to work with the lining just your outside fabric is fine so you fold it in half you go one inch down and you do a little dot one inch down here you do a little dot about a half an inch down here from the middle because you know this was eight one two three four so about two inches you go half an inch down and then you just draw you just go here so if I do a half an inch down and one inch here and then one inch here then I go here and I just join that to make that circle then I would do the same to this side all right then you're going to stabilize this fabric with also um, deco bond and a new lining with uh, Shape Flex. Um, 
you're going to be putting after they're stabilized you're going to put them right sides together okay first make sure you use the stabilizer on them so it's a little bit thicker and then what we're going to be doing we're going to be sewing we're going to mark an opening here in the bottom somewhere here and we're going to be sewing this around a quarter of an inch and here you're going to be sewing right on the line on the line that's where we're going to be sewing okay then down all the way here and then to here leave just a little bit opening just to turn it inside out all right after you've done that you're going to turn it to the right side and you're going to make sure you trim this close to your seam and even here you're going to cut this like you're going to go with your scissors and cut it almost close to the seam so your fabric can open nicely all right okay after you've done that well you're going to turn it to the right side so you're going to have these to the right side Okay, I have already one here that I sewed mine, flip it, and did a top stitch. And before you close this end here, after you turn this to the right side, we're going to have to mark where our magnetic snaps are going to go. So what are you going to do? You're going to find your middle, and then your middle. From here to here, your middle. From here to here, your middle. Okay? So then you're going to go about one inch in one inch in and you're going to touch that let me I'm just going to trim this off and show you just okay so I would have had this turned to this side here like that and I would mark like I said here I would have marked one inch in one inch in and middle between here and here so middle between here and I would mark it there so I would get my little clip here one of these I would mark it all right and I would make a little hole in my fabric and then put this in through and put that in the back all right we've done this in other videos how to put the, the, these snaps on so if you have any problems, just check one of my other videos that has other bags that has snaps. All right. But I'm still going to show you how to do it on the main body anyway. So, so after this is done, we're going to have to attach this to our main body. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to measure about one and a half inch down okay and you're gonna do a little dots just so you can see where you're gonna touch it there and there okay just do little dots this is pencil this comes off when you wash it but plus I'm gonna be sewing my flap on top so it's okay so then what I'm going to do, I would find my middle here. All right, my middle. So I'm going to crease it slightly. All right. And I would find also my middle. And put that there back this way. All right. Then you're going to go to the sewing machine. Okay. You're going to go to the sewing machine. And we're going to sew this in place here. So if you're not sure if this is in the middle, you can always go here, see what you have here. About one inch and about one inch. So you know you're right in the middle. All right. So you're going to go do a double stitch and you're going to secure this just over here, all right? Okay, so I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I sew this in place for my outside fabric, all right? So just trim any threads you have sitting around. 
Okay, so now we're going to start with the zipper. So we're going to get our zipper over here. And we're going to open our zipper. And I need you to mark about a quarter of an inch here from the end. About a one quarter of an inch. And about a quarter of an inch here from the end. And we're going to bring this zipper here, this side here, not the close side. You're going to open it like that. And this side, see? Now right now it's sitting, it's side up. Okay, so I need this to go side down. Okay, so teeth. So if it's easier for you to have a close first, this is where it opens. This goes side down to your fabric, right? So I'm going to go here and right about where my quarter of an inch is that I marked it, I'm going to put a pin and I'm already going to open my zipper. So I'm going to put a pin here. And again, I'm going to put a couple more pins. And again, to that quarter of an inch, I'm going to put another pin. So now I'm going to go to the machine and I'm going to secure this in place. Just the seam, just to secure in place. Because when I put my lining up is when I'm actually going to sew my zipper in. All right? So I'm just going to go there and do that. Secure it. Again, remember, you're going to start sewing where your marking is, your quarter of an inch in. So you're not going to start sewing from the end, just a quarter of an inch in, and you're going to start sewing. Okay, so I'm back. So I just see, I even did it with red so you can see better. See, I just secured the zipper on. And I started that quarter of an inch in, and I stopped a quarter of an inch out. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my lining. And... I'm going to put my lining on top of my zipper right here. And what I want to do, I want to sew on this side here because this side has the it has the deco bond, so it's a heavier stabilizer, so it will at least control my fabric this one here in the bottom so it doesn't stretch. So I'm going to go here and just secure in place. But before I do that, this is what we're going to do. You see where we stopped sewing before? That we started this about half an inch in. So this part here, we got to pull our zipper down like that because we don't want to sew that. So if it's easier for you, put a little pin, like you can go and turn your zipper away from it and put a pin because I don't want to sew that zipper so I'm going to push it down all the way as far as I can away from my quarter of an inch then I'm going to match with my lining there and then I'm going to sew it all right and then here in the end you see here that we didn't sew it to the end either that little piece so that little piece, we're going to turn it outwards. So let's see if I can show you. You're going to go here, and you're going to turn it like that. All right? So we don't catch it. We don't sew it down either. So that will be sticking out like that. All right? Let's see if you see it. See, sticking out. So this side down and this side up, right? So, and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a zipper foot and I'm gonna sew as I normally sew a zipper all the way across. So I'm gonna go do that, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, so I attach, I sew that across my lining and as you see, this one I didn't sew it all the way to the end and this one is sticking out so if I turn it to the other side this is where you're gonna see see the zipper is in there and it's not to the end and this one here it's not to the end either it's right off of there so now we're gonna do the same to the other side right so now I need to attach the zipper to this side so so now I would bring 
this up here see bring it up here I would even my fabrics okay and again a quarter of an inch that's why I'm gonna start sewing or end sewing and the same thing we here about a quarter here there I'm gonna put another pin and I'm gonna go secure it so I have it secured in place that's just a seam to secure it then I'm gonna bring my lining I'm actually gonna open my zipper all the way alright and I'm gonna bring my lining on top of that I'm gonna turn it to this side because I wanna sew on the side that I have the shape flex and this little tip here that I have here you see that okay let me just close it just to make sure we have the zippers evenly together because I need to make sure they're even where I stop and where I start okay so we're good so then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna bring this little tip out okay so this tip out where I didn't stop so where I didn't sew so tip out I put that there okay now I can definitely open my zipper so I can just work with this piece with this piece so then I go here and see and this end of the zipper now I'm gonna where I stop sewing I'm gonna push it down like that so I don't sew it I'm gonna put a a pin there and again it's the same thing that we did on the other side this side that's here closed down the side here up all right so I'm gonna go ahead and see, put it in place so the zipper in and I'll be right back okay so I'm back I attached the second side so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna close my zipper all the way and this is where we end up with so after the zippers close so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this to the right side these fabrics to the right side so you can have a better look what's going on here All right okay so this is what the bag is gonna be looking like and this is going to come down like that all right so now we need to to deal with these parts here that we have here okay let's see so fold it in before that we need to attach our ribbons so i'm going to get my four ribbons i'm going to measure about let's see i would say about an inch and a half maybe about two inches down so about two inches down from there you're gonna measure from the zipper two inches down one one two and you're gonna attach that there then after you have one you can go here and attach it to the other side but remember these should be only attached to your outside fabric not to the lining so I'm only attaching these to my outside fabric not the lining the lining is loose in there so I'm gonna do the same here to this end let's see fold that one two about here okay and I'm gonna go ahead take this to the sewing machine and I'm gonna secure it in place just a little just a tiny put these together okay just gonna do a couple stitching here in place alright so ends up like that ok 
Okay, be right back. Okay, so I attach all my ribbons all there. And um, now what I'm going to do is flip it to the wrong side. Ooh, take this the pin out so I don't poke yourself. Take this all to the wrong side. We're going to get this in here. You see that? See, I have my main and my outside. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to join these together like that. All right. So I'm going to go here, do a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to sew this end, this end here. And I'm going to go here, do this end here. Okay, my two ends. So there and there. So now what I'm going to do is, I can open my zipper. Okay, so this is a little looser. And it looks kind of weird like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring, see, my main with my main here. I'm going to match those seams. You see that? From this fold, this cut out here. And I'm going to pin it. And pin this side. Okay. And then, of course, we're going to keep going down this way to the lining. Right? Okay, so we have one side down. Then we go to this side. We do the same thing. Get your seam. Get your seam, match it. Again, you're going to end up folding one seam to one side, one seam to the other. So they, they nest a little nicer there. And we're going to put that there. And again, we're going to be sewing from there to there. Then we do the same to this side. Again, make sure your zipper that's here open goes inside and all your ribbons on the inside. Everything is inside. You're going to go here, find your seam, bring this seam here and bring it together. Again, fold one to one side, one to the other so you can nest them nicer. On this lining here, we're going to leave about a two inch here to flip it inside two to three inches. Okay, so I'm going to put a pin here. So I'm going to sew a little bit here, stop, and then go here and start here again and go all the way down. Okay, just leave a little opening so we can flip it inside out. So this is what you're going to do down now. So here, 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 and here. I go ahead do that and be right back all right so everything you have any strings cut them all up and it's always better to sew the same color that you have your fabrics so you don't see it in this case I do some in red so you guys can see it better where it's been sewed then you're gonna go here to your opening and your zipper is already open so you're gonna flip it all to the other side so you're gonna go here and just pull, just be gentle, okay, so, and this is pretty much done, so now what I have to do is I have to see where I'm going to put those magnetic snaps, so I will bring this over slightly, over here, my zippers together, that there, make sure this is more or less centered to this side, and that side, same distance in both sides here. And here even, here is even. So then I would kind of press this here. So we'll leave a little mark. Or you can lift and do a little marking there. And lift, a little marking there. All right. And now we're going to just make sure they're even. I would go from my zipper down. Yep, yeah, right there and right there. 
So we're going to attach these. So through that little opening that I had, well first I'm going to go here put that in the middle here where that little dot that I made and I'm going to do a little line here and a little line there. That's why I'm going to cut it. Same thing here, dot there and dot there. Right? Of course, I'm going to need these. And Sim Ripper. I'm going to find my opening where I can put my hand in. I'm going to go here. I'm going to cut and cut. And I get my. This one is going to go through here. And since my fabric is already stabilized, I'm just going to put that in there and turn and turn. Same to the side. Cut, cut, in and in. There, there. All right. So now you're going to go, you're going to go ahead and close your opening that you have here. Okay. Don't forget to close it. Go sew it. You can sew it either by hand or by machine. You're going to turn that all to the inside. Okay. You're going to go iron. going to press it really nicely. Okay, you're also going to um, do a top stitch all the way around. Okay, and you can get a little piece of fabric like I did here. See, here I did a little bird because I cut it from my fabric. You can get a little piece of fabric and do a little tab. Okay, let me see. So I have about one inch. I'm gonna two, I'm gonna do two and a half. So two and a half. Got about three inches down, fold and fold, join them together like that, alright, I'm going to sew that like that, alright, I'm going to turn it to the other side. You get your zipper. Right, you're gonna sew this across. You're gonna tie a little bows here. Of course, I still have to do my top stitch here, but just to show you, I'm not gonna do it right now. I'll do it in a little bit, so you don't have to wait. Okay, and your little bag is done. And this one, as you see, I have a little bead here, and this is literally just a little jewelry piece like a little bit that I bought uh, at a uh, craft store and I just saw it on the inside just to touch to add a little bit of detail. Well we're done we're all done so if you like this video give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos every Saturday. Happy sewing everyone and thank you for watching.